In this video, I will demonstrate how to save your files in Lazarus. If you are a Lazarus user, it is important to watch this video. It may seem like a straightforward process, but believe me, I've seen many students in tears because they didn't follow these easy steps. Here on the screen, I already have a project open in the Lazarus IDE. One of the first things that you must do when working with new projects is to save your projects and files. When we zoom in on the title bar, we see that this project's default name is Project 1. You do not want to keep default names. It is a bad practice because it makes it difficult to identify your projects for future use. When we look at the code in the source editor, we also see that the unit is called Unit 1. You also do not want to keep default names assigned to your unit files. So, let's rename, organize and save these files. You can of course save your projects and files by clicking on the file menu. When the file menu drops down, you have a few options. You can click on save, save as or save all. I want to save all the files associated with my project. So the easiest way is to click save all. However, an even quicker way is to click the save all button in the speed bar. Here you can see the save all button. When I click the save all button, a dialog window appears. The title reads, save project, project 1, and the extension is LPI. In the file name box, we also see the default name of our project file, namely project1.lpi. And here we see that the file that we are required to save has a .lpi extension. Unlike Delphi 7 that uses .dpr extensions for projects, Lazarus uses a .lpi extension, which is short for Lazarus Project Information. The dialog window is currently open in a location called Documents in OneDrive. So Lazarus assumed that this is the folder where I want to save my file. However, you don't want to save all your projects in the same location, because that may cause file conflicts or override previously saved files. Later in this demonstration, you will also see that Lazarus projects have many other files and if you save all your projects in the same location, it will be very confusing. For the purpose of this demonstration, and to make my files easily accessible, I will save my files in a folder that I'm going to create on my desktop. I'll click the desktop icon here on the left of the dialog window. Here you can see the new location is my computer's desktop. To organize all the files together in a nice package, I click this button to create a new folder. A new folder is created and now I will just give it a name. In this case I will call it First Demo and press Enter. You must use a descriptive name, it will normally be the name of your application. Now I double click on the newly created folder to open it. I will save my project file in this location. But before I do that, I must first give my file a proper name. I start by typing a descriptive name, in this case first project, followed by underscore p for the suffix, to indicate to me in the future that this is a project file. You mustn't overtype or remove the .lpi extension. Now I click on the save button here in the right of the dialog window. The dialog window immediately pops up again, ready for the next file to be saved. Here, we can see that we are still working inside the folder that we created for this project. However, the title now reads, Save Unit 1, and the extension is .pass. In the file name box, we also see the default name for the unit file, namely Unit 1. And here, we see that the file that we are required to save now is a Lazarus unit file, with a .pass or a .pp extension. I must also give the unit file a proper name. This unit file belongs to a form, so I will start the name with an frm prefix. Then a descriptive name, in this case first demo, followed by underscore u because this is a unit file. You must leave the .pass extension intact. Now I click on the save button again. Now let's look at the changes in the IDE. Here in the source editor window, we see that the unit's name changed from unit 1 to frm first demo underscore u. And in the title bar we see the project's name changed from project 1 to first project underscore p. You only had to name and save the unit file and the project file. However, I mentioned before that a bunch of other files are also generated. 
Let's explore that. First, I minimize the IDE so that I can see my computer's desktop. Here on the desktop, you can see the folder named First Demo that I just created. When I double click this folder, it opens and here you can see a folder and seven files. You only saved the project file and the unit file, but Lazarus also generated and saved five other files. Those files are used by Lazarus internally. It is not necessary for you to know them now. I will go back to my project in the IDE. Here in the speed bar is a button to run my program. It is this one with the green triangle. When you click the run button, you are executing the program code to test your program or to view it like the user will see it. The program is running now and the form is displaying the way that the user must see it. To break out of runtime, I can just close the form by clicking the close button here in the corner of the form. I'm back in design mode or design time. I will now minimize the IDE again to return to my desktop. Then I double click on the project folder again. Now go and count the files again. Now we have 8 files. Remember we only had 7 files when we opened this folder before. That means that Lazarus created this folder and also an extra file when I ran this application. Now, can you imagine how much clutter and confusion it will cause when you save all your projects and files in the same folder? Or if you keep all the default names that Lazarus assigns? In the next video, I will do the same demonstration in Delphi 2010. I'll talk to you again in the next video.